Hey guys, so I'm coming to y'all on short notice. I know I look rough, okay? So don't tell me. I know I look rough. I look rough as hell. <laughs> Crazy, okay? So don't judge me. But I had to get on here. Um, I just got back from vacation. Y'all know I took a little break. Um, uh, I was in Virginia with my best friend celebrating her birthday and whatnot. Um, shout out to her. Um, but on my vacation, something happened that I wanted to talk about because I just had to get on here. And um, once again, like I always say, use my platform um, to bring around awareness about the things that I care about 100%. Um, so if y'all don't know Daryl Walls, basically, who's a great singer and part of the group, gospel group, the Walls group, um, was outed. Okay. And so I'm just looking and... Truthfully, honestly, I've seen a lot of support to him. So I'm not going to lie on that right there. I've seen a lot of support coming to him and outpouring to him. Um, and I just want to speak on it because it's something that bothers me. Um, him being outed, it's just whoever that person who did that, it really bothered me. I mean, let this man, let anyone come out on their own timing. You know what I'm saying? Let them be comfortable with themselves. I mean, it's it's, it's a up and up situation because <clears throat> I was out at a very young age. Um, but my thing is, let that person figure out what they need. Now, it can be a blessing and a curse in disguise because I go, y'all know I go to Daryl's church every weekend. When he has X church, I'm there. I'm right there front and center every time. I love that guy. I love his spirit. I love his anointing. I love that he touches people. I love that he uses his gift. Um, so I'm there every weekend. Um, and there's never, I mean, I'm not going to say never. There Usually the maximum of amount of people that he gets and views when he's on that live is about 400. Um, tonight, oh, it went up to 7,000. And so I said, look at God. Look at God. You know what I'm saying? He's using a struggle or something. I don't want to call it a struggle because I don't think it's a struggle. But he used something that somebody thought that they probably want to break him down on or even just wanted the attention that look, see me, you know, what, what have you. I don't know what the, the, the situation is, but God used that to bring more people in. I've never seen in his live at 7,000 and I go to that church every Sunday. I don't know if church got cut short. I don't know if it was technical difficulty. I was on my way back from Virginia to Philly. So um, I was looking at it in the car. I mean, on, you know, on the train ride and in the car, um, but it got cut short. I'm not sure why, but Daryl, I want to take time out and say, thank you. You know what I'm saying? You got on your ex church tonight and just proved that you're not bothered. You know what I'm saying? You're not hurt, okay? And nobody can hurt you. Now, I don't know how the, the church responded. I don't know how, but I hope that they, they, they responded in love. You know what I'm saying? I really hope that they was responding in love. You got me, an, a, a gay Christian male, just reaching out to you and saying, look, I got your back. You know what I'm saying? Because I understand the struggles of what we go through as black men in the black community, in the church community, in the black church. <clears throat> I understand the pressure that people put on you and, you know, the things that they can say. I mean, you know what I'm saying? And so that's why it bothers me so much because I identify with it so much. Um, there's nowhere in the Bible, you know, see, my thing is, and I don't, I'm not a, I'm not a, I used to be a religious person. I'm very spiritual now. But my thing is, you got these Bible beaters and whatever, what have, have you not. But you got no shade, no shade to this guy. John Gray cheating on his wife every other whatever. And nobody says anything about it or says something to him. But oh, here comes Daryl Walls. Oh, Daryl Walls is with the dude. One, who cares? Why does anyone care about his sexual preference unless you want to sleep with him? And then another person that made me mad, Larry Reed, always trying to take an advantage of a situation, <clears throat> excuse me, and cap on it. He always, it's like he keeps digging on Daryl. Minus, I don't know, I know, I think I heard that they went through some stuff before, but minus you going through some stuff before, stop taking digs at this guy. He is, he does, he pays you no mind. So why do you continue to take digs at him? And then he said that he likes to, basically hunch like a Pokemon or something like that. 
Why are you worried about that? Why? That type of stuff pisses me off so much. Because one, you shouldn't be worried about his sexual life at all. I'm talking about Larry Reed or any church member for, for that fact. You shouldn't be worried about it. And if you if that bothers you that much, don't come to his church. Don't buy his music. Don't look at him. Trust me, he has way more support than, you know, y'all coming out and, and, and basically using his situation to cap off of. Like, that's what irritates me. And my thing is, we're acting like homosexual homosexuality is not normal in the church. It 100% is. You know what I'm saying? It's just that people that don't like it don't want to accept it because of their insecurities, if you feel what I'm saying. But really, it's none of your business. His sexual preference is none of my business, none of your business. Like, if the man's happy, let him be happy. And that's on period. And I get that it could be the, oh, it's the lies behind it. Oh, well, forgive and forget, forgive or don't forget. I don't know what you want to do, but we got to move on. Like, I'd rather that man be in a mentally stable place and, and, and happy than him sitting here worried about something because of oh, the Bible said this, the Bible says that, whatever, whatever, whatever. God loves you, Daryl, no matter what. And I know that you're the pastor and I'm not, but I was raised the same way, honey. You have an anointing and I know I have an anointing. And that's what you do. You give glory to God. You share your gifts on this platform that you had around the earth and around the world. And that's all that matters. You are still getting God's work done at the end of the day. And that says a lot. That's a man of God. That's 100% a man of God. If you're gay, if you're straight, if you're bi, I don't know. I don't care. The main thing about this whole situation is that he spreads the word. He spreads his gift. He spreads his anointing. He brings people closer to a higher power so that they can be saved at the end of the day. What his sexual preference is, does not, sexual orientation is, does not matter. None of that matters. What matters is the fact that he's getting these people to the heavens and that's on period. And there's nowhere in the Bible that says because you're gay, you're not going to get to heaven. Y'all can use the abomination scriptures. All those things. There's a lot of things that were abominated in the in, in, in the scriptures. No shade. Homosexuality is not the only thing that was said that was an abomination. There's other things in the Bible that were named as abominations. It's just that we pinpoint certain things in the Bible because we don't like it and we amplify it. Period. And truthfully, the Bible was set here to be a guide. I mean, y'all, we none of us are like Jesus. If we were like Jesus, you know, <laughs> oh my God. You know, we wouldn't be in the in, in the direction that we are now. So just because of a little flaw that y'all think is a sin, y'all want to persecute somebody, man. Come on. Men have been cheating on their wives for years. Men have been murdering man for years. You know what I'm saying? And when I say man has been murdering man, I don't mean just men solely men. I mean man as humans. We all are men. We've been murdering each other for years. We lie. We steal. We, you know, we can all this stuff. But oh, I'll I'll forgive my son for killing somebody, but I can't forgive him for being gay. Come, go to fuck. Yeah. Ooh, excuse me. I'm trying to keep it PG because I know there's a lot of people on here that's probably gonna be from you know the church. But on some real, you know, mm -mm, no, grow up, grow up. We are so beyond that. Let that man be great and let him live. Oh my gosh, the only thing that I was mad at. To be honest, this was that I wasn't the dude in the damn picture. <laughs> no shit. And I know it's because I'm a gay man, but at the same time, let these people live. Let these people live. You per persecute this one person, but the per other person is doing way worse. I mean, probably doing scamming people, doing crazy stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But y'all trying to take it out, take, take it out, you know, on Derek. Like, he don't know. Come on, man. Like, that, that's, that shit wild right there. That really is wild. I can't. But I had to get on here and talk about that because it's just like, man, you got your people, I guess, hang, tagging on the bandwagon. And I know the people that were there tonight probably just wanted to see like what he was going to say and see if he was going to speak out on it. Thank God he didn't. Thank God he just was like, look, I'm getting right here doing what I usually do. And that's praise the Lord, because that's exactly how it's supposed to be. And I've been going to X church all this year, period. So whatever, Daryl, look. Man, if you need support, I'm here. You know what I'm saying? 
And that's it, man. Because y'all people is foul and y'all people is fake for real. You know what I'm saying? And I can't stand that. And whoever did that to him, you really, like, you really on some high time clout chasing shit. I don't know. And I, you know, truthfully, my skin looks so bad right now because I'm just so underwhelmed. Truthfully, even if he did it himself, I would be even happy because if he did, leaked that shit himself, he's trying to free himself. That's all that is because, you know, it can be a painful thing. And I don't think God would want any of us to go through that much pain hiding who we really are. You know what I'm saying? So, Daryl, God bless you, man. Love you. God bless your family. Hope y'all ain't going through too much scrutiny or anything like that, man. And um, tell me what y'all think about this down below. And I'll see y'all later. Bye. <laughs>